What's going on guys? So I am out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this enormous fifth wheel. This is a Wildwood Heritage Glen Elite Series. Now this has some very, very interesting cues that I don't think you've probably ever seen on a fifth wheel before, and it's definitely gonna be one that's interesting to watch. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so before we get this thing kicked off, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So for the size of fifth wheel this is, this has a relatively light gross vehicle weight rating of 15,500 pounds, rides on 16 inch wheels, F-rated tires, twin 7,000 pound axles. So this isn't terribly heavy, but it would appear to be lighter than what you probably think. And the reason for that all lies in some of the features that this unit has. This thing is simply enormous. Let's take a quick look around the outside of it, show you what's going on. So the front does not ride on a drop frame. Let's open up this propane compartment here. You have two 30 pound tanks in here. Stepping back, you have a really nice pass through storage. Now it's not terribly large. It's not as large as you might see on some fifth wheels, especially with a front drop frame, but it is a good size. It looks to be about three feet wide, looks to be about a foot and a half to two feet tall, and it goes all the way through this unit. Taking a look underneath the frame here, rides on a 12 inch I-beam frame. It has rack and pinion slides, and it has the ground control electric leveling system from Lippert. Coming around, I like how they used a mirror finish on the Elite Series wording there. Coming back, it's got nice trimming around here. This is nice. It looks very full. It doesn't look like it's a hollow setup here. Tires are very close together. It does not have an upgraded suspension equalizer. It does have some very nice rims. Castle Rock ST tires. These are F-rated tires. I'd probably swap these out with G-rated tires after a, a relatively short period of time. You have a Schwintech slide back here. Looking in here, another pass-through compartment. Very nice. And this appears to be the same size as the one up front. So you add this one plus the one up front, you got quite a bit of storage. Now this right here is where the magic is, and let me explain why. So I told you, this doesn't have a front drop frame. Instead, it has a rear drop frame. You heard me right. So. There's a lot of structure here behind the rear axle. So as long as they've offset it with weight up front, this might reduce some of the pin weight you might normally transfer to the back of the truck. But again, it all really depends on what they've done up front with the weight up there to make sure that it's evened out. Let's open up this compartment and see what it's all about. So check this out. So first of all, all your water connections are back here. It's actually pretty convenient. And then you have this pull-out tray right here. That is very cool. So talk about huge storage and the ability for you to access that storage very easily. We'll walk around to the other side in a second so you can see this right here, which pulls out that way and includes a nice prep station as well as a sink. Coming around back, this is the back of your water heater, 50 amp connection right there all LED lighting, and it is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera, and it does have a full profile walk-on roof. Full profile roof means that the roof of this unit is straight all the way front to back. Let's take a look at this drop frame back here. This rides on an eight inch I-beam, which is attached to a box section above it. And it has that nice hard plastic protection underneath, very similar to what you might see on like a Cardinal. And then one of your sewer connections is back here as well. Working our way around the front. This doesn't have an upgraded pin box, which isn't a big deal in my opinion. That's something you could easily add and put your favorite one on. Nice nose to it. Again, full profile. Schwintech slide up here. Here's the other side of your storage. Coming back. This has the Moride step above steps. Back your furnace. This is the other side of that pass through storage. But check this out. Tell me this isn't cool. So you have a griddle right here, which is really cool. 
and that's attached to this really nice kitchen that pulls out. Check that out. So when this is out, you simply pull your griddle out and you have a really cool outside kitchen with a refrigerator. This has to be one of the coolest setups I've seen. Now again, I'd love to know how much weight is actually transferred back here. I have a bottle opener right here. But tell me that isn't a really cool utilization of space. Works really well. And back here, back here you have your TV. So what's really nice about this is you can pull the TV out and kind of point it this way because it's on a swivel arm. You have your speakers out here and you can be cooking, prepping food, everything you need to from this back area. This is really cool. And I have never seen a fifth wheel with this setup before. This is 100% unique to this floor plan because I haven't seen it anywhere. But that is awesome. I also like the fact that they put dual slam latches on each one of these doors. In some cases, these are small enough that some manufacturers might put a single slam latch. And these are all your thicker baggage doors, which is also really nice. Now we're going to step up inside of this 36RL. Let's quickly pan around so you can see what the interior of this mid-kitchen unit is all about. Nice kitchen, lots of countertop space. I love how they have some bar stools here as well. So you have some nice dine-in kitchen space, which is really cool. On this side, you can see you have a nice upgraded cooktop as well as oven and a full-size residential microwave above it. This unit comes equipped with a residential refrigerator from LG. I like this too. So this is something you don't see on a lot of residential units. Basically, when you close the door, you screw this in right here and it keeps the doors and the drawer shut. Stepping back here, take a look inside of the pantry area. Huge pantry, lots of space in there. Definitely like this kitchen. Nice full extension drawers as well. And I'm gonna guess this is gonna be a half bath. It is. Good amount of room in front of the toilet, about two and a half feet. Nice little vanity area and a medicine cabinet with a door. All of your controls are right here. And then your main control panels right here. Coming around. Again, love all the cabinetry. Love the lighting. Just the whole look of the interior of this unit is really nice, and it's not terribly dark, so if you like that lighter, more airier tone, you have that with this unit. All right, coming up the stairs. Very nice front living room area, and these are sofas, so they may look like love seats, but they're actually a little bit wider than love seats. These both turn into beds, so you have this really huge area for sleeping space if you have people that come with you. Nice valances around the window. I like these little tables they put at the end. Really good if you have drinks and things like that. If you're going to be working on a laptop, maybe your iPad, you have somewhere to set it. Theater seating right here. And this has an ottoman as well, which is really nice. You have your panoramic fireplace right here. Nice cabinets next to the TV. Very deep cabinetry as well. And I love the fact that they have this wallboard wallpapered in the back to look nice. Plus, I like the contrasting tones here of the trim up top. And even the divider between the living room and the kitchen is really nice. Coming back, let's step up towards the back to the master bedroom. Huge king size bed, tons of space on each side of the bed. This is actually rare. You rarely see a fifth wheel or any type of RV with this much space next to it. Typically, I'm saying there's about a foot, foot and a half. In the case of this, you probably have two solid feet of space to get next to your bed. Plenty of space for like a CPAP machine, plenty of space to put your phone. The nightstands are absolutely great, considering this is a king size bed that's in here. So they made the slide wide enough to support the actual nightstands inside of the slide. That again, very rare. And in terms of cool storage ideas, look what happens when I close this door. 
you have this huge storage space up here. This is enormous. You could easily put your luggage up here, whatever you need to, you can easily set up there. That's just huge. It's probably three and a half feet wide, maybe four feet wide, about 20 inches tall. Just a really good spot for whatever you carry with you that you just want to kind of put out of the way. Coming around this way, TV's already mounted. Check out all of this wardrobe space. You got five drawers right there, plus you have a closet area right there. This is just an enormous bedroom area, and I love the fact that they use the new quieter Coleman air conditioning systems in these Heritage Glens. Coming back to the bathroom area. Really nice bathroom. Again, storage everywhere. Drawers. You have more storage right here for your toiletries. You have a really large dedicated spot for your washer and dryer. And it's in a good spot too. So you have it located right here in the threshold going into the bathroom with no obstructions directly in front of it. Coming around this way. You can see you have plenty of room around the toilet, plus a little bit more privacy as well because you have this wall right here. You have a window above it with a pull-down shade, a nice mirror right here, lots of storage for towels and things like that right there, plus another mirror right here, nice stainless steel basin, lots of countertop space over here, and a very nice large shower. Again, for me, this shower is plenty large for most people. It's not a full residential length shower. That would actually go to about here, but it's easily four feet long, and it gives you plenty of room when you're inside of it. It's not a cramped feeling shower. And the reason why they don't go with a one-piece shower in a lot of these newer units is because this is serviceable and it can be removed in case it cracks or you have something that goes wrong with it. Coming back. Again, beautiful floor plan. Tons of room in this fifth wheel. I mean, check this out from this perspective. Huge kitchen, lots of countertop and cabinet space, huge living room area. You know, this is really designed to be more of a couple's unit because there's no dedicated second bedroom. However, if you bring guests with you, you definitely have plenty of room to entertain them. This is definitely the type of fifth wheel you'd want to tow with a dually. I would not put something like this behind a single rear wheel truck. Here's your other air conditioning unit right here. And then you have a ceiling fan right here. Beautiful. Let's quickly glance at the price. 2021 Heritage Glen has an MSRP of $78,281 and an asking price of $58,978. That is actually a pretty good price. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. This is a really cool fifth plan. I think you'd agree. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.